Hey, my name is Amit and you're watching aptitude360.online. In the previous video, we talked about as to how to solve these kind of problems where sum of two numbers is given and their SCF is given and how many pairs are possible, those kind of things we did in the previous video. In this video, we are going to be talking about as to how to know whether SCF is required in, the, in a given problem. So let us get started and find out how to tackle these algebra word problems. The very first problem that I have taken over here is the greatest number that exactly divides this, this and this is. Now, I have got all the questions in the description box. If you are watching, if you are watching my videos for the very first time, go in the description box, solve all the problems on your own and then come in this video and then that is going to be very, very, very beneficial for you. Now, how do we find out HCF of 1... 0, 5, 1, 0, 0, 1, and 2, 4, 3, 6. Why am I saying that I need to find out SCF? Because it says that don't get confused with this greatest number. What is that you have to find out? The keyword out here is it is dividing. And if it is dividing, then it must be factor. And this greatest combined with that factor is what is that they are asking you? They are asking you to find out SCF. Now, we need to find out SCF of these numbers. Or if we are in the examination, we numbers ka SCF nikalte bat gaye. That's another problematic situation. Time waste hoga. Why don't you take assistance from, from these options over here? If you understand here, then 105, this number, this number. One thing which is very, very clear is, I know, I know that this, this 3 over here, now try to understand this is 5 plus 1, 6 is divisible by 3. If I'm if I'm talking about my option number A, 105 to divide ho jaga, 35 into 3. <coughs> How about 1001? What is the sum? 1001, it's 2. 2 is not divisible by 3, and hence 3 cannot be 3 cannot be SCF of these numbers. It this option is eliminated. Now let us talk about 11. Let's talk about 11. 5 plus 1, 6. Sum of digits at odd places is 6 and and the digit at even place is 0 and the difference is not zero, uh, score coming out as 0 and hence 105 is also not divisible by 11 and hence this can also not be the SCF. Let's talk about 21. If a number is not divisible by and 21 is 3 into 7. और जब नंबर 3 से ही डिवाइड नहीं हुआ तो 21 से कैसे पता कर लेंगे इसको तो ये सारा का सारा चला गया और हमारा एसएफ क्या आ गया 7 आ गया सो दैट इज व्हाट आई से दैट यू विल हैव टू टेक असिस्टेंस फ्रॉम योर ऑप्शंस एज़ वेल डोंट इवन ट्राई टू बिकॉज़ इफ यू ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस इन एग्जामिनेशन सिनेरियो इट विल टेक यू 3 टू 4 मिनट्स व्हाई टू वेस्ट योर टाइम व्हेन यू हैव गॉट योर ऑप्शंस ओवर देयर तो हर बार क्या करेंगे कोशिश ऐसी करेंगे बट कुछ प्रॉब्लम ऐसे आएंगे जहां पे आपको निकालना ही पड़ेगा फिर तो क्या ही कर सकते हैं? Otherwise, you can take assistance from your options and and solve your problems. Now, if you understand this thing, probably let us solve this problem. It says that the greatest possible length which can be used to measure exactly the lengths 7 meter, 3 meter, 85 centimeter and 12 meter, 95 centimeter. कहना क्या चाहता है? कहना ये चाहता है कि मान लो एक एक रोड है जो है 7 meter और I would say that 700 meter. ठीक है जी? The second one is Second one is 385 centimeter, and the third rod is 1295 centimeter. Abhi kehna kya chahta hai ki the greatest possible length or the greatest possible measurement, jo in tino ko kar ek option dekho. Options are smaller, so probably they are talking about HCF. Number two, they are looking for a number that can divide this and this and this completely. They are looking for the largest number that can divide these three values and hence they are looking for the HCF. Now, so you understand that you need to find out HCF of 700 and 385 and 12195. Wapas se wahi kaam ये ऑप्शन डी देखना, because this is an even number, and and then we have got five and five over there in the second and the third option. So option number D is gone. Now how about how about this option over here? Uh, try to see this. This is seven hundred. This is seven hundred, and I'm talking about option number A. Option number A, fifteen is somewhere five into three. If a number which is divisible by fifteen, 
will have to be divisible by 3 as well and look at this number 700 700 what is the sum of digits 7 7 is not divisible by 3 and hence this can also not be this can also not be your hcf so a is gone and d is gone what do we have we are left with 25 and 35 now we will have to eliminate uh, from these two now understand this 700 is a multiple of 7 so we will have to have 7 somewhere 25 does not 25 is 5 into 5 it does not have any 7 whereas 35 is 7 into 5 and hence without picking up my pen to solve this question i say that this scf is coming out nothing but 35 centimeter so if you are worst with the divisibility rule concepts these kind of problems actually become very 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 simple right so this is what we had over here all all the time what do we do is we try to eliminate our possibilities Ye cheez agar ho gaya, now see this problem the least number of square tiles required to pave the floor of a room the room ka jo length and width hai, that is given to you as the length is given to you as 1517 centimeter isn't it and width has been given to you as 902 centimeter 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter i just convert this into uh, centimeter now if if i can find out the area of the room what is the area of the room area of the room is going to be 1517 into 902 centimeter centimeter square now try to understand this thing what do we have to do we have to maximize the length of that square tiles yeh to bol raha square tiles uska uska jo size hai usko humko maximize karna hai yani we need to find out a value that can divide the length completely and that can divide the width completely what is that so what is the greatest value that can that can divide these two values so what is that we are looking for we are looking for we are looking for hcf of scf of 1517 and 902 in video number one of in video number one of lcm and lcf category we talked about how do we find out 1517 and 902 ka hcf and we have we had found it out as 41 but yaha pe agar nikalna hua to what is that we should be doing uh, 902 should divide 1517 that is how we had done this that's coming out as 902 so this is 5 and 1 and then this is 615 902 that ये कब तक करेंगे जब तक हमारे को ये यहाँ पे zero नहीं आ जाता so that's gonna be six one five and and that's gonna be twelve five seven and this is nine one this is eight and and two eighty seven two eighty seven is dividing six one five कहाँ तक जाएगा ये two times तक जाएगा seven to the fourteen and then the eight to the sixteen one seventeen one and that's five and that's coming out as 41 that is what we were looking for because this will be dividing i'm just trying to write it over here 41 is dividing 287 completely right that's 287 is so 41 is going to be hcf of these two numbers so we have found out 41 is coming out as hcf of 1517 and 902 ab kya karenge ab kya karenge as a problem may up up here the corner key up up area of I would say that area of square tile one tile must be nothing but it has to be 41 into 41 centimeter square this into this centimeter square because if the length is this and the width is this so the area of one square tile is going to be this now if that is the case if that is the case we know we know that our uh, area number of tiles number of tiles will be nothing but area of the room area of the room is 1517 and that's gonna be 902 divided by 41 into 41 it's the hai to area nickel ke aega mari pass right by x square tile ka area yeh raha puri room ka area numerator raha divide ka nega number of tiles apne apne nickel ke aega तो जो सारी की सारी प्रॉब्लम थी ना वो नंबर 1 आइडेंटिफाई करने के लिए थी कि इसमें एचसीएफ चाहिए या नहीं चाहिए बिकॉज़ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर अ नंबर दैट कैन डिवाइड 1517 एंड 902 कंप्लीटली प्रोबेबली यू आर लुकिंग फॉर एचसीएफ 
और जैसे ही आपने इन दोनों नंबर का एसएफ निकाल दिया वो आ गया 41 सेंटीमीटर इसका मतलब जो आपका स्क्वायर टाइल होना चाहिए वो मैक्सिमम कितना हो सकता है वो 41 सेंटीमीटर हो सकता है उससे बड़ा तो वो नहीं ही हो सकता है और ऐसा होने के बाद में वट यू कैन डू यू कैन यू कैन फिगर इट आउट ऑन योर ओन फोर्टी वन वेन इट इज डिवाइडिंग वन फाइव वन सेवन दैट्स प्रोबेबली थ्री एंड दैट्स वन ट्वेंटी थ्री राइट एंड दिस इज दिस इज गन बी वट इलेवन थ्री दिस इज एट एंड दिस इज टू टू एटी सेवन एंड देन नाउ यू नो दैट्स कमिंग आउट एज सेवन टाइम्स तो दैट्स दिस वैल्यू इज this value is if it is dividing this will be 37 and if you do that probably you will be having 22 so this the square number will be so that's coming out as 74 into 11 and that will be 4 and then if you have not if you, if you want to find out as to how i multiplied 30 seven with 22 you need to watch my vedic mathematics videos over here where we talked about as to how to multiply any number with 11 right uh so what is the answer that we are getting over here we are getting 814 and that's it that's it but then this is this is a bigger problem you know what i would not be solving such problems uh when i am given uh, i am sitting in an examination scenario ye wala problem to main tabhi karunga jab mere sare ke sare difficult simple wale problem solve ho jayenge tab main aise problems karunga now if you understand this thing we are moving ahead and we want to find out uh, all these algebra word problems you need to uh, you need to see as to how i am taking hcf and what are my arguments behind taking hcf ye problem bolta hai maximum number of students among whom 1001 pens and 910 pencils can be distributed in in such a way that each student each student gets The same number of pens and pencils. यानी हर एक student के पास में number of pen कितने यहाँ पे number of pen one zero zero one number of pencil कितने यहाँ पे nine hundred and and ten. Question पूछता है कि हर एक student को जो number of pen और number of pencil है वो same मिलनी चाहिए. So what is going to be that number? So what does that mean? We will have to maximize these two values. ये आप समझ में आ रहा है आपको? Number of pencils must be divided by number of students, and number of pencils must be divided by number of students. कितनों को देंगे और maximum देंगे? So what is that we should be doing? We should be finding out a C F of one zero zero one and nine hundred and ten. बहुत ही ज़्यादा simple है. Now look at your options. बिकॉज यूर यू 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 वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट एच सी एफ ना तो ये हो सकता है ना तो ये हो सकता है राइट एच सी एफ विल हैव टू बी द स्मॉलर वैल्यू सो इफ यू आर फाइंडिंग आउट नाइन हंड्रेड एंड टेन एंड वन जीरो जीरो वन का एच सी एफ द वर्स्ट केस सिनारी वो नाइन हंड्रेड एंड टेन ही होगा उससे ज्यादा तो हो ही नहीं सकता है क्योंकि वो उनको डिवाइड करने वाला है नाउ अगर वो केस नहीं हुआ तो हमारे पास में दो ऑप्शन बच गए 91 एंड 910 910 इज नॉट डिवाइडिंग 1001 एंड हैज व्हाट इज गोइंग टू बी द आंसर द आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी 91 प्रॉब्लम खत्म हो गया देख लो ना 91 क्या कर रहा है क्या 91 1001 को डिवाइड कर रहा है 91 दैट इज गोना बी यस इट इज यस इट इज इज 91 इज 91 डिवाइडिंग Dividing 910. Obviously, it is dividing 910. So, so we can say that 91 is going to be a CF. Now, us problem may interpretation kaha pe aayegi? Each student, each student must be getting 91 pen and 91 pencils. Does this make sense? So, what is this? A way that each student gets the same number of pens and same number of pencils. Baat ho gaya, khatam. Now, if that is the case, we would like to solve this problem. Badi dhyan se usko padna. Ye har jagah pe use hota hai. Koi bhi competitive examination ho, CAT se leke, GMAT se leke, SSC se leke, banking se leke, CSAT se leke. You name the examination and it gets utilized. The question says that uh, there are 21 mango trees, 42 apple trees, 56 orange trees have to be planted in rows such that such that there are two conditions. Each row must have the same number of trees, and and each row must have the same variety of tree. 
यानी एक रो में जितने भी रो लगाओगे उसमें नंबर ऑफ ट्रीज भी सेम होना चाहिए और हर एक रो में एक ही वेराइटी लगेगी सो देर थ्री वेराइटीज प्रॉबेबली हाउ मेनी ट्रीज ऑफ मैंगो ट्वेंटी वन हाउ मेनी एप्पल वी हैव गॉट वी हैव गॉट फोर्टी टू एंड हाउ मेनी ऑफ देम आर ऑरेंजेस वी हैव गॉट वी हैव गॉट फिफ्टी सिक्स राइट सो प्रोबेबली प्रोबेबली वी आर लुकिंग फॉर अ वैल्यू दैट कैन डिवाइड दीज थ्री तभी तो निकलेगा कि एक रो में कितने सारे निकल के आएंगे सो वट डू वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट एस सी एफ ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन एंड फोर्टी टू एंड फिफ्टी सिक्स प्रॉबेबली यू नो वट दिस नंबर इज सेवन इंटू थ्री एंड दिस नंबर इज सेवन इंटू सेवन इंटू फोर नॉट नॉट सेवन इंटू सिक्स सेवन इंटू सिक्स नॉट फोर Seven into six, and that number, this number is coming out as seven into eight. Now it's very easy for us to find out what is going to be their SCF. So their SCF is coming out as their SCF is coming out as seven. So we know that in each row we will have to plant only seven trees. अच्छा अगर ऐसा हो गया तो problem में क्या पूछा जा रहा है? Problem में पूछा रहा है minimum number of rows in which the trees must be planted. So, in order to minimize, try to understand this. In order to minimize number of rows of trees, we will have to maximize number of trees in a given row, isn't it? And in order to maximize this thing, what did we do is we found out SCF of these three values, and which we got as seven. So, कहने का क्या मतलब है कि एक row में सिर्फ सात पेड़ लगा सकते हैं. सात से ज्यादा लगेगा नहीं सात से कम लगा सकते हैं बट देन यू विल हैव टू मैक्सिमाइज नंबर ऑफ ट्रीज इन वन इन अ गिवन रो सो इफ दैट इज द केस नाउ ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट हाउ मेनी हाउ मेनी रोज ऑफ मैंगोज वी विल हैव सो देर आर ट्वेंटी वन ट्रीज एंड देन सेवन ट्रीज इन वन रो सो देर विल बी थ्री रोज ऑफ मैंगोज एंड हाउ अबाउट हाउ अबाउट एप्पल एप्पल्स विल बी फोर्टी टू ओवर सेवन दैट इज कमिंग आउट एज सिक्स and how about oranges because we have got 56 trees of oranges so in total in total we will have to have three rows of we will have to have three rows of mangoes six rows of apples eight rows of oranges and all these rows must be having exactly seven seven trees to kya ho gaya hamari dono condition to fulfill ho gayi wo condition number 1 kya tha in each row You will have same number of trees. तो ऐसा तो हो ही रहा है सात ट्री लग रहे हैं मैंगो के कितने लगाए हमने तीन लगाए तो देर थ्री रोज ऑफ मैंगोज ईच हैविंग सेवन ट्रीज देर एट रोज ऑफ ऑरेंजेस ईच हैविंग सेवन रोज सेवन ट्रीज देर आर सिक्स रोज ऑफ एप्पल्स ईच हैविंग सेवन सो नंबर ऑफ नंबर ऑफ वट इज वट इज दिस प्रॉब्लम नंबर ऑफ रोज सो नंबर ऑफ रोज दैट वी आर फाइंडिंग आउट नंबर ऑफ रोज दैट वी आर फाइंडिंग आउट इज थ्री प्लस Three plus six plus eight, and that is nothing but that's nothing but seventeen. So that is the answer. That's the answer. So, so how many how many rows are going to be there? The it's it's going to be seventeen. Now, this is what we had in this video. In the next video, we would be talking about how do we know when there are remainders cases of remainders are involved with with hcf uh, till now we did not encounter a case where they were talking about as uh, remainders in the problem so there are multiple cases where remainders are not given but same remainders are given and same uh, remainders are given but not same so how do we tackle those kind of problems without doing much effort and and taking assistance from the option elimination so those those are are, are problems are going to be agenda in video number 5 uh, i'm going to see you there bye bye and take care and i always say this if you want my handwritten notes then you need to go in the description box uh, there is link to this telegram channel of ours you need to join that telegram channel and and you will get all these pdf not only th these these pdfs you will get so whatever i am annotating you will also be getting those annotations but then you will have to join that that telegram group right so do that be part of the winning team and and certainly math quant quant reasoning anything of any of it will never ever be your problem area right so i'm going to see you in video number 5 till then bye bye and take care